Hello friends and crafters, welcome to my channel. I have a tutorial for you today. You have requested for me to show you how I cover the Dollar Tree box that I use for memory dexes. So this is my box. This is one that I created for the fall to hold my fall themed memory dex cards. This box will hold at least 12 memory dex cards. That's how many I have. My cards are a little bit chunky, so maybe you could fit a few more, but you want to leave a little bit of room so that you can maneuver them around or maybe add some uh, memorabilia in there. So I'm going to show you how to cover that box. And this same method could be used to cover the crate box that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. This is a project that I created for my 2021 Christmas tags. And this box is also found at the Dollar Tree, just like the uh, box for the memory decks. And I will tell you that the last time I visited the Dollar Tree, they had these crate boxes, but they were a little bit smaller than what I used. So I'm going to give you the measurements for this box. My box measures uh, five and seven eighths inches by three and three eighths by two and three quarters. So make sure to pick up that size if you want to create this. And the only thing I did different was to put these little jewelry box handles on the sides because I thought it looked cute to dress it up. So we're going to go ahead and get our memory dex box. And I have some paint from my stash and it's apple barrel white. And I have here a, a piece of aluminum foil. I would use a paper plate, but paper plates are at a premium right now. We can't get them in the grocery store. So this will suffice. So we put a little bit on there. <coughs> and then we're going to take a makeup sponge. Now you're going to want to cover your box at places where if the paper doesn't meet, it'll show through white. So you're not going to cover this little area right here with paper. So you're going to want to paint it. And I like to keep this simple. So I'm going to go inside and get the paint into that corner because that would be a place where you, your paper doesn't meet the entire box. And then just do a little bit of painting right here. And on this side. And I like doing it with a sponge because I don't have any brush marks on my box. So I'm going to open this up because I prefer not to get paint on my mat underneath. So I'm going in here. I hope you can see me. Going in here to get the paint in that little crease. And just a little bit here. All right, now I want to go around the inside edge in the crease. And I have a little bit of uh, glue that appears that's hard to cover, so I need some more paint. There we 
go. And you're welcome to paint the whole box if you want to. I don't think it's necessary, so I'm only doing the creases. All right, so I hope you can see how I did that. I'm gonna go right here a little bit. I have a glob of paint. All right, and I see something here. Make it sure it's all smooth. And now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go across the edges here. And you're going to go all the way around the outside as such. And then you're going to come in and make sure you have all the edges. And make sure your paint is smooth that you don't have any lumps, because that will show through the paper. All right. And then I'm going to do this. This needs to be painted because it won't be covered with paper. And then the last thing to do is go on these ends. So I need just a little bit more paint. And you can see that my hands are really messy. <laughs> but I have a solution for that. <laughs> And I got a piece of wood to here sticking out. I'm going to pull it off. That'll be covered anyway, but we'll take it off. All right, so just make sure all your edges are covered. This down here doesn't matter, just the edges. So now you see what I've got, and I'm going to put this aside. So I'm going to clean up this mess just like that. Easy peasy. Then I'm going to put this aside. See, so I have a little paint splat there. Now I'm going to wipe my hands so I don't get the paint on the designer paper. It'll be just a minute. And there we go. See, I just had a cloth here and I wiped the paint off my hands just got a little under my nails <laughs> and we're going to cut our designer paper for the box and I'm going to put this a little bit more off camera just so I have room and I'm going to swing this around okay 
So this is the same method, like I said, you're going to use for the uh, tag box as well. So what you're going to do is cut the outside paper of your box. So you're going to measure the box and it is four and three quarters. So you're going to need two sheets of designer paper and that's what I have here. So I'm going to cut the first sheet for the outside four and three quarters. And then I'm going to cut it lengthwise for here at six and a half. So we have six and a half. I'm going to put it up against here to make sure and I cut it a little bit too much I usually get right on top of here <laughs> here we go six and uh, six and a half let's try that yeah all right so now we already have this cut for the width wise. So we're going to cut these pieces here. So that measures one and uh, three quarters. So all we're going to do is take this, which is at the four and three quarters. We're going to just turn it and go one and three quarters. So we have one and three quarters and one and three quarters. And I'm going to put it here and it fits well. All right, then the next two pieces and I'm getting white on here because it's not dry. Sorry about that. This is my second time doing this tutorial and the first one I had it dried and we got a phone call that was important and I had to leave in the middle of the video and it messed it all up. <laughs> so the next thing we're going to do is we need two pieces that are this looks like six and five eighths by one and three quarters so i'm going to cut one and three quarters all right It looks a little big to me, but it works. Okay, and that was one and three quarters by six and five eighths. So measure your box because this is a different measurement than the one that I had done earlier. So that's six and five eighths. All right, we need one more of those. One and three quarters. Five, six and five eighths. All right, so if you wanted to, you could 
do some distressing on your designer paper, but I am not going to do that at this time. So I'm going to glue this on here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, I'm going to get my wet glue. And we're going to put some wet glue on here. Make sure you get the edges good so it sticks down on the box. out of the way for a second. I usually, usually like to put this on with a bone folder, but I don't have it here, so I'm just going to use my ruler. Make sure it's nice and smooth. All right, now we're going to put on the sides. Make sure that glue is on the edges. And the other side for the long piece. So your measurements might be different than mine. So just make sure to measure your box. Now, let's see, I have an extra piece here. <laughs> and they're all about the same. All right, this is going to go here. Now it is time to cut the pieces and cover the inside. And I can take that paint off my hands. All right, so I'm seeing here I've got a little bit of an over part on my box. So what I'm going to do is take my scissors and trim that away. And it could be the box or it could have been the way I cut it. got 
some edges pulling up, so I want to make sure I get glue on that. There we go. All right, now we're going to measure the inside of the box. So we're going to put the ruler up against the inside and it looks like this is four and a half inches wide by six and it's almost three eighths. So let's cut four and a half inches wide. So you're going to get your second piece of designer paper and you're going to cut it four and a half inches. Just going to make sure this fits in there. All right, and I'm going to try six and three eighths. I may have to trim it back a little bit. So we're gonna try that. All right. Yeah, we gotta cut it. Yeah, we gotta cut it a little bit. Let's see if I can get this up. Trim the eighth off of it. And it looks like I messed that up, so I'm going to cut another piece of four and a half. It was four and a half. And I'm going to go six and a quarter this time. All right, that's six and a quarter right here. I'm gonna go. Let's see if we got it this time. Nope. Just take a little bit off. Hopefully I don't ruin it this time. Here we go. All right. So that fits. Make sure. Yep, we got a good fit. Now we gotta get back out to put glue on it. It's a really good fit. <laughs> so the piece that we just cut, which was this one, we're going to cut these pieces now from that piece. And I believe it'll be one and five eighths. And I gotta get this piece out to put the glue on it. Here we go. So I'll do one and five eighths. And one and five eighths. to go in the length after this. Let's try it, make sure it fits. It's not too tight. I think that's good.
Hier de zon. Now we have two more pieces to cut. And that is going to be the one and a quarter. Put this down here, nice and smooth. There we go. So I need six and three quarters. by, let me see if one of these will fit, no, always try to maximize, okay, this one will do, this one will do, this is the one that I had to goof on, so I'm going to go one and five eighths, and one and five eighths, And we need the six and a quarter for that. So it's just a little piece taken off. Six and a quarter. All right, that's it for that. So this is what you have left from your designer paper. It's quite a bit. But you still need a sheet and a half, I think. All right. This is scraps we can use for something else. So we're going to take it, put that aside, and we're going to go ahead and glue the last two pieces in. didn't cut the <laughs> oh maybe I put it to the side all right well you get to see the the whole shebang here all right that's not scrap <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> been one of those nights. All right, we're going to get this in here. In the best case scenario, my paint would have been dry on this box. Got some little edges pulling up. And I could see a bubble right here. All right, there we go. And then this piece goes in last. I thought I had already glued it in there, and I had not.
And there we have it. It's covered with paper. Now, if you want to do this, you I'm going to show you how to do it. I did it with my pink Christmas memory decks card holder, but I did not do it with any of the others because I like them loose. But if you want to make this so that you snap your cards into the box, you're going to use some straws and get something that matches your paper. So you see I have black and white straws that match my paper. And here is a memory dex card. So you're going to want to kind of mark where you want your um, straws to be. So this, if you snap it onto a straw, first I'm going to cut it and then I can position where to put it. So I need, this says it's six and three eighths. So I'm going to try a little bit. I'm going to cut it at six and quarter, three eighths. I'm going to cut it a little bit bigger than six and three eighths. Just a smidge. Because I want it to fit in nice and tight in there. Okay. And then you're going to put it in the box. And it's got to be cut a little bit. So I'm going to just cut an eighth of an inch off. And there... I have it fitting in the box right there. All right, so I'm going to take it out and I'm going to cut my other straw the same size. All right, now to get this so it's in there, to, you're going to put your card in like this and you're going to center the card and see where the holes are. So I'm going to mark about right there and right there, and I hope I can see this, where my straw needs to go. Okay, I see the one but not the other. All right, we're gonna put it in the middle and I'm going to mark it right about there and right about there. Okay. So you're going to put some glue around the edges here. And then you're going to take this and Try to keep it straight and put that straw in there. All right. Then use your card to see if it is down far enough, which it is, but mine isn't over enough. And it's got to go over like this. And that is perfect. Just a little smidge. All right, so that looks good. Now we're going to get the second one in. And you see? All right, you got, it's got a little bit of glue there, but that's okay. Because we're going to go around that with more glue. So you're going to put the glue on the edges. And then we're going to go in. And I see my mark right there. Hopefully we're good. <laughs> All right. And it's tight. Looks like I'm too close here. All right. And it looks almost there. 
it's not a science. It's a trial and error. <laughs> okay, see, that looks good. A little bit closer. And snap your card on there and see if it is centered. I think I could come this way a little bit. And that is centered, almost. This way and this way. Yes, now, see that's perfect. And then you can load after this is um, dry, you can load your memory decks cards on there. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. very carefully <laughs> and we're going to take some glue and we're going to go around the straws to make them in there pretty good and that'll dry clear so that's not a big problem And this one to me looks up a little bit too much, so I'm going to push it in. It's probably a quarter of an inch from the bottom of the box. Not very much. So I'm heavily putting glue around there so these things will stay as you move your cards in and out. So that is done, and I'll show you. It does look like kind of yucky right now because the glue is not dry, but I wanna make sure that they are in there snug enough. And I can see I pulled a little edge up over here, so we're gonna fix that. All right, now I am going to, I wanted to show you to put pearls on top of here so let me grab my other project. All right, you don't have to do this. If you don't wanna pearl, put pearls on top, you do not have to, but I think it looks nice on this particular box. So I'm going to do it. And these are sticky back pearls, but I know I mentioned before that the sticky stuff doesn't work here in the south with the humidity, so everything's got to be glued. This gives a nice finished edge if you want to do it this way. And this can be done the same thing for the tag box. You can put pearls around the outside edge. To fancy up your box. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place some pearls around the outside edge of the box, if you care to. I do not have the correct color here to do that, so I'm just going to show you another box that I put it on, and I put that on the bottom. You can do either way. On the tag box, I put it on the top, as you can see here. 
with some uh, punched lace, Martha Stewart punch paper lace. You could also use regular lace. Um, this was too much for me, so I did not put lace on this. So I just put pearls around the outside. Um, this would look good with uh, not as big a trim as this. Probably just a plain pearl trim like this would look nice around the, around the top of it. So you could do that whichever way you want to decorate it. Uh, I want to put white and silver pearls on this. I don't have them right now at my desk. So I'm going to continue on with this box, which I started in another video and it got messed up. <laughs> but I, I'm going to show you now that I'm going to decorate the front of it. So what I chose for this box, since it's for my Valentine memory decks, are uh, these two hearts and I cut these with a Spellbinders nesting die in pink and red to match my bow. This is a Scrap Diva Design scalloped heart bow that she has in her store. Very, very pretty. And I glued the two hearts together and then I'm going to glue this bow in the center of the hearts. So I have my glue gun here for that. And I want to do it right in the center as such. And I think that is so pretty. Now, I don't want to put too much decorations on this box because it would take away from the beauty of the memory decks cards that I'm going to put in here. So I'm only going to put this heart on the front of the box. That is enough for what I have going on. So I'm going to hot glue that on the front. And when I'm hot gluing this, I want to make sure that I don't put the glue too high up on the heart because I don't want it showing on the back. So we'll get to that when we put it on here and see how much glue we want to put on. So I'm going into the middle. That looks pretty even right there. And I've gonna got a little 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 piece of hot glue right there I went a little too high so I will get that with my hot glue with my heat gun later it's almost gone um, I'll hit it with my heat gun now you see how pretty that is all right and now the last thing that needs to be done to decorate this is the feet. Now, there's several things that you can use for the feet. I am using these jewelry box corners for my feet and you can get these on AliExpress. They're a couple bucks for 12. And I will leave a link below to these in case you would like to purchase them. They have silver, they have gold and they have a uh, brass color. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the part that is split here like that and I'm just pushing it together to meet. All right. For the feet. And you could see that's the uh, type of feet that I used on this box right here. So what I used on the tag box was pearls. All right, and that's that was these pearls from Michael's that I had picked up a while ago. So these nice big ones here are perfect for feet. You can also use these uh, foam balls that you get at the Dollar Tree and I just dumped them all over the table. Oh boy. Let's see here. <laughs> so you could use these. These would be really pretty too. It depends how heavy um, your memory decks cards are. If you did a lot of uh, uh, shakers, then you and your box is heavy, you might not want to put that on the bottom. 
I know I have a lot of shakers in mind, so I'm going to use these feet. And what you're going to want to use to attach your feet is this E6000 glue. This is the best to glue to use for your feet as it doesn't rip the paper and it doesn't break the uh, seal on there. So you're going to want to put the feet on as such. And I like to put the, let's see. I'm trying to figure out how to put that seam so you don't see it. It's like a puzzle, right? All right, I'm gonna put it like that. Now this takes a little while to dry, so you're gonna have to leave it upside down to dry. And you're gonna put it right up to the edge. Oh, I'm all going the same way. more leg all right and you're just gonna leave that there to dry and I'm going to show you uh, let me see I hope I've got four of them I do I am going to put the foam gold foam balls right here on this one so we'll get this one to the side So we're going to flatten, I don't know if you could see me doing this, I'm flatting, flattening the ball a little bit on where I'm going to glue it to the box so it doesn't roll off. <laughs> so just press down a little bit on the ball. So put your E6000 on there and attach these as legs. So you can see either Either one of these is pretty for legs for the box. So that is it. Be sure to check out my finished project with the memory decks, the Valentine's memory decks in this box right here. I thank you for joining me tonight. And until next time, everyone, happy crafting. Bye.